Welcome my lovely Cancers to your singles reading for June 2022. I just jumped out so I had to take that. Uh, my lovely Cancers, we are going to take a look at the Oracle cards to see the main messages that are coming through for you. And then I'm going to pull Tarot to clarify. If the messages that come through do not resonate with you, please go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant or more important information or more interesting information. So let's go ahead. Oh, that looks very interesting. My dear Cancerians, right. So the first card that comes in is this beautiful card you deserve love you are lovable so no matter where you are in your life my dear cancerians know one thing you deserve love and you are lovable do not doubt that for one minute do not think oh i'm to this i'm to that i'm too thin i'm too uh, uh, you know voluptuous i'm too old i'm too don't don't do that you are lovable and there is somebody out there that is going to see that and love it because you deserve it. The next thing is quite an interesting that comes through for you is let go of control issues. Let the situation, um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So you've got to just relax because sometimes, especially with you know as you know with matters of the heart it's just it has its own life force it has its own rhythm and it has its own way of manifesting and uh, appearing and so you know sometimes we want something and we want somebody so badly that we try and force things and direct things and it's just a card saying relax it's going to unfold, it's going to happen in its own time, as it, at, at its own pace. And in the meantime, just relax, have fun, enjoy yourself, know that you're, you, are, you are lovable, you deserve love, and it will come at the right time, at the right place. But you cannot control it. You cannot control it. Okay, right, that's fine. We, that's very easy to understand. Sometimes we've just got to be told that and we can just like take a deep breath and see, okay, then you've got the beautiful card of passion coming in. Now, this is a love reading. So we're going to just say, okay, passion coming in. Interesting. There is something that is, some energy that is coming through for you this month with regards to passion. You could meet somebody this month that ignites something in you that hasn't been ignited before, that makes you feel that excitement, that joy, that, you know, those butterflies. There is definitely a possibility of this coming in. And then we've got the prosperity card. Now, prosperity, of course, we know has got a lot to do with finances. This could be somebody who is very um, comfortable or very financially well off. It could be that this relationship actually becomes very prosperous, meaning that it can go the distance, that what starts off passionate, you know, that you might think, oh, it doesn't have the, the legs to go further. It's just, just passion, passion, passion. But maybe there's something more here. Maybe that it can actually literally be prosperous in all other areas. Very nice. So let us go through and look at our tarot to see what other additional messages we can get for our lovely Cancerians. We've got the Seven of Wands. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Wands. The Seven of Swords. One more. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Right. So we've got the Seven of Wands coming in here, which is quite a defensive energy. Okay. And I think, honestly, this, this, these two Sevens coming through is about you really 
pondering, considering, thinking, will it ever happen for me? How can it ever happen for me? I've, you know, I've done this, I've done that, I, I've been here, I've done this. You know, it's just this lot of, like, how is it ever going to happen? I can't see how it's ever going to happen. Why, you know, when will it happen? And here we've got the seven of wands, which is our control issues. It's just you really wanting to be in control, saying when, where, and how. And it's just time to release that. Just release it. Just have a little bit of faith, a little bit of belief, and let go of all the, the self-doubt. You do deserve love, and there is love here. The Ace of Cups is appearing in your reading, okay? So there is something here, something wanting and waiting to come through. It's a hand of God giving you this cup, and this cup overflows with love, okay? It's an opportunity. It's a beginning. It's about what you do with it, where you take it. Are you going to say, you know, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm to this. I'm to that. Or this person's to this. All this, you're just going to let go of the control. Let it flow. Let things flow. And things will fall into place just as they're meant to. This is just a card saying, take time to reconsider what's out there, what's happening, what do you really want. This is not a time to really be so hard on yourself. You know, just, you deserve love. There's opportunity out there. This is the card coming through saying, yes, there is opportunity out there. There is opportunity out there. And I think this opportunity is going to come in at the, in the most unexpected way. This person that's offering this passion, okay, it's going to come in in the most unexpected way. It's like when you least expect it, because you've letting go of it, and you're starting to have fun and just enjoy yourself, this person will appear. And what, like I said, what starts off that just seems that it'll have just this like passionate um, possibility and maybe you feel like it doesn't go further, but it has the ability to go further. So what starts off as just something small and something that, you know, is passionate and you're both excited about it, but it has the potential to even go further. Right. Let's pull a energy card to see the best energy for you to work with this month, my lovely Cancerians. And we've got the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Guys, just relax. Let go. You don't have to be in control of everything. Just trust that there's, there's, it's going to flow at its own pace. You deserve love and it's going to come in for you. And I see it here. There's there's something amazing coming in for you. Don't don't let your your mind play tricks on you. Don't let your mind sabotage you. Let let your mind be your asset now, and let it work for you and not against you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm sending you all lots and lots of love.